Hey, what's up? This is Lawrence and welcome to Sleepy's Good. I just want to say thank you for everyone that subscribed to my channel. It really is appreciated. I didn't realize that this series would be that popular, but you know, just thank you for supporting this channel. And yeah, so let's jump right into it. So in today's video, we're going to be covering the billing profiles. So in Nike Shoebot, there's this billing tab that you can click on. And this is essentially where you would put in all of your credit card information or your card information that the bot will use when it's trying to check out new sneakers. So the first thing you want to do is click on the new billing. And here's where you would put in the information that you need for your billing profile. So you put in your first name, last name, uh, country, I'll just say United States, city, you can put in whatever here for that city. The address, um, you want to make sure that when you're creating these billing profiles, because we're going to create a lot of them, you want to do something called address jigging, which just means that you want to have the address look, look the same, but be slightly different. So what that essentially means is we're going to create um, a lot of these different addresses. So you'll see one, two, three, four, random street, uh, let's say Virginia, and then the zip code. And then for the next building profile, I don't want to use the same address. You know, I want to make them as unique as possible, but still the same. I will just slightly change up the abbreviations. So um, instead of street, I'll say ST, and then I'll keep the, the rest of the stuff the same. And the reason why we do this is because we want our billing profiles to be slightly different. So that way, if we're trying to check out multiple pairs, we won't ever risk our order being canceled. And there, there might be uh, a case where, you know, you can't really, you know, jig your address at, at, as um, that, that, that much, but it's okay to, you know, at least have some variations and if you need to you know use the same address it's not the end of the it's not the end of the world okay so for instance for instance we just copy this one here we'll paste this in we will put in the state and this is very important when you're putting in the state you don't want to spell it all out you want to use the, the two letter abbreviations and this is just because you know that's how most of the sites expect your state to be entered so Nike Shoebot expects you to also abbreviate it. I think that it would be nice if they added some kind of um, filtering here to just make sure that you enter two letter abbreviations but just keep that in mind. And then here is where you put in your zip code. You can put in a phone number here um, but I don't think it's necessary but you know it's, it's still safe to put your phone number there. And since I want the billing the shipping address to be the same as the billing address I'll just say same as shipping. So it looks like the phone number is required. So you put in your phone number and then the profile details, you'll put in a profile name and this is just your billing profiles name. So I'll just say test two. And then here's where you'd put in card numbers. Now you might be wondering, you know, if I wanna, if I wanna um, check out multiple pairs, you know, how would I go about doing that? You might be tempted to use the same card number, but just like the addresses, the card, the same card number can be flagged as, you know, um, what's it called as being a botter. So you want to make sure that you also use different card numbers when you're creating these billing profiles. So the idea is just to create as many unique billing profiles. So that way, if we do want to cop multiple pairs, we have a better chance of doing that. And one good way of creating these multiple cards is with this service called privacy.com. So privacy allows you to create these virtual credit cards. So you can just go to privacy.com and sign up and it will give you a way to create multiple virtual cards that will have different card numbers, expiration dates, uh, the CVV number, and you can use that to create those unique building profiles. So privacy.com, there's probably other services, but I can only recommend stuff that I've used. So privacy.com, it would be my go-to. So once I do that, I'll just create these new cards right here. I'll add the expiration, CVV. I'll add the name on the card and the email address. And the good thing about this privacy.com is um, they don't really have a, a billing address associated with them. So as, as long as you, you can put whatever billing address you want, it will still work with the card. So once you do that, you're, you're set. And the next thing you want to do is also we want to put in unique email addresses. And you might not have a lot of different email addresses. So one good way to do it is using something called a email catch-all. Now I've created a video 
which demonstrates how to create these catch-alls and what they are. So if you go to my channel, just um, look up um, how to create catch-all emails and that will give you a detailed description of how to do that. So essentially what we're doing is we're, cr we're creating a catch-all domain which we can create these unique email addresses, but they all get sent to the same email. So for instance, you'll see test1 at sleepysquidcatch.xyz. Whenever someone sends an email to this, it gets forwarded to this email. If someone sends, sends an email to this random email right here, it will also get sent to this rob.com. So essentially you can create as many unique emails as you want, but they are all tied to, the, to, ju to just one email. So we'll just copy this one right here, and then we will paste this inside here. And then the last option that you want to, you know, check is this checkout limit. Now, if you want to cop multiple pairs, you can just leave this as um, no checkout limit, and this will, you know, run this card as many times as it can, and that's cool. So, and then the other option is check out only once. So if you only want to check out once, so if you had this building profile being used by multiple tasks and you don't want to risk having your card being charged a lot of different times, you can say check out only once. And so this will stop the building profile from being executed whenever or after it's, or it's checked out once. So that's a, a safe little feature to have. Check out once per site, self-explanatory check out once per item per site. So if you were trying to check out um, multiple items, multiple different items from the same site, if you had it set at check out once per site, once it checks out once, it would just stop and it wouldn't even try to go for the other items. So this is a good feature to have where you wanted to check out only once per item, but if it's a unique item, you wanted to, you know, try the other ones as well. So this is a, this is kind of like, an additional feature for for checking out different items. I usually have mine set to no checkout limit because I want to try to to grab as many pairs as I can. So once you've done that, you've put in your information here. Then let's just put in this in. Then you can click submit, and this will create that building profile for you. Now, if you want, you can since you're going to be going through and creating a lot of different building profiles, you can create one and just click on clone right here. And this will clone the building profile for you. And then now here you can go in and then edit things to make it a, li a slightly different. So you can change the email, um, change the address a little bit. And then I think that's about it. And then also, yeah, change the card number as well. So if you go to privacy.com, generate a new card and then replace this with that card. So that way you have multiple different building profiles with slightly different information. So that way you're perceived as a unique user whenever you're going to check out. So that was it for creating a new billing profile. There's this other feature called new group. So you can click on that and this will allow you to, you know, create groups of billing profiles. So that way, whenever you go to, you know, create your tasks, which I'll cover in a, in a, uh, in a following video, you can just associate a billing group with that task. And what that task will do is it'll look through this list of billing profiles and just select one from that. So just randomly select a billing profile and try to associate that with the task. So that's a cool little feature right there. And the other two options are to, um, to download the list of billing profiles or to import a list of billing profiles. So this might become this might come in handy where let's say you want to switch servers or you want to switch to a different computer you don't want to have to copy over all of these billing you don't have to copy all of all of these billing profiles and enter them them in manually you can just download a list and then easily import that into your Nike Shoebot program whenever you launch it on that new computer okay well I hope everyone found this video helpful if you did please leave me a a thumbs up if you haven't have any questions or concerns just uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to you as quickly as possible. And also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help um, grow this channel and also helps other people be able to discover it as well. Well, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.